All right, in this video here, we're going to be looking at systems of linear inequalities, and that's where you have more than one inequality and more than one variable. And then your solutions are going to be the ordered pairs that make both of the inequalities true, or they satisfy all the inequalities in the system. For this example, we're going to be graphing all the ordered pairs that make both of these inequalities true. They are both in slope intercept form, mx plus b. So to graph slope intercept form, start with a y intercept. That's going to be 1. And then the slope, that's going to be an up 1 and right 2. So we go up 1, right 2. And there's another point there. It's strictly less than, so our boundary line is going to be dashed. And then for less than, we're going to be shading below the boundary line there. For the blue inequality, we have 2 for the y-intercept. And then to apply the slope, we're thinking rise over run. So that's a down 4 and right 1. Down 4, right 1 gives us another point there. This one is or equal to, so that's going to be a solid boundary line. And then it is less than, so we are also shading below the boundary line there. So the region that shows all of the ordered pairs that make both inequalities true, that's where we have the blue and the red overlapping. So that's going to be this region right in here. So if we're looking for examples of solutions, anywhere in this purple region will work. So like this one here, that's going to be 0, 0. For this point here, that's going to be 0, negative 5. For, we could choose this one here if we wanted to. That's negative 5, negative 5. Or we could be choosing any other ordered pair in this purple region here. We can choose ones on the solid blue line, but not on the dashed red line because these ones are not going to be solutions. All right, so we're going to graph all the ordered pairs that make both of these inequalities true. The top inequality is in slope-intercept form, mx plus b. Start on the y-intercept, that's going to be a 3. And then for the slope, that's going to be rise over run, down 1 and right 5. So down 1, right 5. This inequality is or equal to, so it gets a solid boundary line. And then it's greater than, so we're going to be shading above the boundary line right there. For the bottom equation, the blue one, this is in standard form. We have the x, the y, then the inequality symbol there. So when we graph standard form, we're going to graph by intercepts. So starting off here to find the x-intercept, we're going to divide by negative 6. So negative 12 divided by negative 6 makes a positive 2. And then for the y-intercept, we're going to divide by 4. So negative 12 divided by 4 is going to make negative 3. So there's our two intercepts there. For the boundary line, that's going to be strictly less than, so it's going to be a dashed boundary line. And then it's less than, so we're shading below the boundary line there. So the region that shows all of the solutions is where we have the blue and the red overlapping. So any of the ordered pairs in here is a solution to this system of inequalities. Quick tip for graphing by hand. So sometimes when you have all of your scribbles up here from your shadings, it gets kind of tricky to figure out where things are going. So to make it a little bit neater, when we do our shading, just use arrows on your piece of paper when you're graphing by hand for shading above and then for below, just use some arrows there. And then your solutions are going to be where you have double arrows. So this is going to make it a little less messy when you're graphing by hand. For this example, we're going to be graphing the solution set. Let's look at the top inequality here that's in standard form. We have the x, then we have the y, then the inequality symbol. So when we graph standard form, we graph by intercept. So for the x-intercept, we're going to divide by 10. So negative 30 divided by 10 makes negative 3. For the y-intercept, we'll divide by negative 6. Negative divided by negative is positive. 30 divided by 6 is 5. For our boundary line, it's or equal to, so our boundary line is going to be solid. And then for shading, we're actually going to shade above. So this is less than, but the y coefficient is negative. So we, when the y coefficient is negative, we actually switch. So less than will shade up, greater than will shade down. Now for our other equal, 
inequality there. That's slope intercept form mx plus b. So start at one, the y intercept, and then for applying the slope, down one, right two, down one, right two. And there's our second point for the bottom inequality. So it is or equal to, so that's going to be a solid boundary line. And then for greater than, we're going to shade above. So the region that shows all of the ordered pairs that make both of these inequalities true is going to be where we had the blue and the red overlapping. So that's going to be that area right up there.